My name is Sue Troy and my condition is generalised vestibulopathy with occasional bouts of BPPV, which is benign positional paroxysmal vertigo. Um, that to me has been explained that I have damaged inner ears, uh, which was probably started off by a virus in childhood that got reactivated in later life. And then the BPPV is when crystals move from different parts of the inner ear canal and cause severe vertigo. It all started for me about 15 years ago, went to bed feeling perfectly well, woke up in a new world the next morning, everything was spinning, couldn't get out of bed, um, virtually bedridden for two days, had to crawl to the toilet. Um, phoned the doctor, although I am a nurse by background, in the back of my head I thought this could be labyrinthitis, so anyway the doctor came to check, I didn't have any major brain trauma or anything, um, and confirmed labyrinthitis and commenced me on some um, beta histine or something similar at that time, um, and it gradually improved and I gradually got back to work after about three weeks. Um, and then I was absolutely fine for about another four or five years and then the same thing happened again. Got, went to bed normally, woke up again. Wasn't quite as severe this time, but obviously I recognised the symptoms and didn't call out an emergency doctor. Um, this time I think I had perhaps a little longer off work, although the symptoms weren't so severe at the outset, it took a long time for the dizziness to settle down, uh, but probably went back to work after five or six weeks. Um, and then plodded along quite okay until about five years ago and then I didn't suffer with vertigo then but I'd, I'd taken on a, a promotion as, as a temporary position at work so I was more stressed as you would say in my work role and I started to feel generally more fuzzy in my head, couldn't think straight and I just eventually had to go off sick. Didn't have the vertigo at this point but just generally feeling dizzy, just generally unwell really and I think I went to the GP and I think he prescribed beta histine but I wasn't really getting any better and by chance I saw a friend whose husband had seen one of the balance consultants here and he'd had an Epley's manoeuvre so I thought oh I'm going to give that a go so I went to see him privately I didn't have any private health care but I paid to see him and that set me on the road for lots of investigations, came to the balance lab, I had all the investigations and I was diagnosed then properly with a generalised vestibulopathy. I also have nerve damage on my left side from a hip replacement so it was explained to me that it affects my balance disorders. My brain is already working harder to keep me walking correctly and then with the balancing so and apparently my results were quite remarkable and be really good to show to students which is nice for him, not so nice for me I suppose. Um, and that's how it all went on from there. I think I had nearly six months off work then. Didn't have much of the BPPV, not much vertigo, but I do remember having one Epley's manoeuvre performed and I eventually switched to NHS care once I'd been diagnosed. Um, and then things went along tickety-boo again. I think that's what a lot of people experience with balance disorder. They oh, I've cracked it, I'm all right now. And then about 18 months ago, started to feel unwell again, not with the dizziness at all, just with the general fogginess, you know, musty head, can't think straight. Um, ended up going off sick for nearly five months and was advised I perhaps need to think about giving up work. Fortunately, I'd planned my retirement about four months later, so I actually stayed off sick until I retired. Um, I actually retired from work um, March 2018. Um, then I gradually got better again and things were reasonably okay. I had times, not that I needed to see a doctor, but I just couldn't think straight, slow starts in the morning. And then this year has been an horrendous year, as they are often. Um, I got shingles in February, uh, just over a week before I was going on holiday to Sri Lanka. I uh, did make it to Sri Lanka, but unfortunately about three days before I was due to return, I woke up with that dreaded vertigo and I thought, oh no, not in Sri Lanka. Um, fortunately it wasn't too severe, so I could potter about and sit on a sunbed. But the morning we were due to fly home at eight in the morning, at seven o'clock it came back big time, I couldn't stand up, I was vomiting and had an hour to get to the coach for the airport. Managed to get a doctor who gave me an anti-emetic and anti-sickness injection. 
and said I could travel, but did I really want to? But well, yes, I did. So I didn't really want to face the option of being stranded in Sri Lanka. So I came home and that started another whole bout. Saw the consultant privately again, because I know on the NHS you'd wait months to see anybody and you can't afford to wait months when you feel so rubbish. Um, and I knew this time it was the BPPV because I got all the vertigo. That was my main symptom. And that was diagnosed by the consultant and then had to have a series of four EPIs manoeuvres. He kept saying each one, this should sort it, and it didn't. And I thought, I'm never going to get sorted. But on the fourth one, I had an EPIs manoeuvre performed, um, which is where they put your head, lie you down on the couch and move it into a different position in an attempt to shift the crystals into the correct part of the inner ear. And then he did a Samont manoeuvre which he described as a slam dunk and explained that to me where they get hold of your head and whack you down to the side and then the other way, it is quite violent, but whether that did the trick, it finally sorted out those pesky crystals and I was able to gradually get better. Also having some um, vestibular physiotherapy, uh, which is to do with training your eye, ears and brains to work more in sync. And finally, I've been fairly well since about August this year. Um, joined the balance group, found that by chance when I was looking where the balance clinic was to see the physio. Um, joined that in June, found that immensely helpful, you know, meeting fellow sufferers who described similar symptoms to me and I'd never ever met anybody like me before. You tell people how you feel and you look normal and you look well and they just look at you. I think work used to think I was perhaps swinging the lead a bit, uh, but I wasn't. Um, and that's how things are for me. On a day-to-day -day basis, it affects me. I find I'm quite slow in the morning. I wake up. Oh, I also have, which I didn't mention, I have tinnitus and that gets really loud when my head feels more fuzzy. So I often wake up, my tinnitus is quite loud in my left ear. I feel fuzzy and I, the only way I can describe it, I have to wait to come to. I have to have a cup of tea, then another cup of tea. I always used to have my breakfast the minute I woke up, whether it was five, seven, I can't do that anymore. I have to wait a while till I feel like getting breakfast. I can get moving early if I have to. Obviously, I don't have to very often because I don't work anymore. But yeah, I do find a slow start and I generally tend to improve as the day goes on. Um, that's generally in tiredness as well and anxiety to some extent, like I'm having the grandchildren two different sets twice this week and I'm feeling, oh, what I've got to do, I've got to get meals for them. It's extra work, which isn't hard physically, but seems to stress me out mentally, which it would never do before because I've always had quite a responsible job, competent and things. So that, yeah, a memory. So I used to say to the consultant, I'm sure I'm getting dementia. And he said, no, no, you're not. It's the condition. It does affect my memory. I know when you get older, your memory goes. And I talk to friends and their memory goes. But I do feel when I'm not so well, my memory is terrible, short term. You know, my daughter said, I told you that already twice. And I just don't remember, you know, which is a bit worrying. But I'm hanging on to the vestibulopathy condition and not the dementia diagnosis for that.